Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can create a code driver system. So I prepared a little scene for this. We have our AI car slash drivable car from the last tutorials. And we have our AI character slash playable character as well from the last tutorials. Um, this includes functions from the last tutorials where you can uh, where the AI goes to the car and goes in. If you didn't watch this, make sure you have to watch this, the, otherwise it didn't make sense. So, first of all, let's go back to the character. We have our spawn here um, that checks if the character is an AI, then it activates the AI function where it moves to a specific location and then tries to enter the car. So we have to switch around this for a code driver system. So first of all, we need two variables. So let's create one. The first of all is driver, that's a Boolean. And the second one is, I just make a sample. So this will be taxi guest, just for example, as well as Boolean and we make it public. So, the first thing I want to separate the spawn function. So let's put this one here up here as well this one. And this will be the spawn. So let's connect it right here like that. And this will be an add custom at custom event. And we call this AI underscore enter car. So we can call this whenever you want and the AI will um, go to the specific position and try to enter the car. So we can use this later for the code driver system. So the first thing is we have to set up the taxi guest here and say get. So this will be if the character is an AI and if the AI is a taxi guest, so it will ask to get in the car. So for example, I place the guy right here and he will ask to take that we take in him with us. So um, first of all, we need a branch here. So on true, of course, we ask if the AI is a taxi guest and if he's a taxi guest he will just do nothing and AI enter car function like this. Great. So, so we have our enter car function here and what we want to do is that we not only set the driver so we have can set already the co-driver. So we have to create one. Let's go back to the, our AI car and what we have to do here is take our driver so that's our character and just duplicate it and we call this here co minus driver. Put it up here and yeah, we can leave it like this. And now we go back to here and when we want to set the driver, we have to make a condition for this. So let's put this up here in the back and we go from the active core and we set co minus driver like this. And now we have to make a condition for this. So let's make a branch. And of course on true, we go from the active core and say driver, get driver door. So when the driver door is true, he will set the driver and if it's false, he will set the code driver. And of course we can even make functions for open the driver door or the um, side door, as I'd call it. So we let we do this later. So compile and save this first. And now we have to make an, let's call it taxi function. That's just an example. So we go inside here and we go to the viewport and make an 
box collision, let's call this taxi box, just for example, and replace it right here. So next to the AI in this case. And what we have want is on begin overlap that when we hit this box with our car, so that the AI is recognizing our car and then goes inside the car. So first of all, we want a branch. And this branch just asking is AI. Of course, if the player hits this, it just should do nothing. But if it's an I, then it should enter the car. So we go from here and say, cars to AI car. In this case, of course, on true, it will cause to it. And we go from the AI car and say, get world location. And this will be of the site enter box so that the AI always go to the location of the uh, site door. And now we want that we set the taxi guest function to false because he has already done this. And after that, we want to set the AI destination. And this will be the word location. And here we say AI enter car, the function that we created earlier. So when we hit the taxi box from the AI with our car, he will set the word location to the side door and then we'll activate this function here. So the AI moves to the side door and tries to enter the side door or even the car. Great. So this is our taxi function. Great. So we have to create a state in the animation graph for this. So let's go to other animation graph. I already prepared something here. So I would just clear it. So we take the pawn owner and say course to character, then we get the taxi guest and the driver um, boolean and set it inside the animation graph. And then we have to just create, go to the default. So we have to create a new state for this. So let's go out here and say, this is the taxi taxi state, I don't know. And we go back to the idle and now we have to make the condition. So from the idle to taxi, we just ask for the taxi guest. So it goes inside here. And from the taxi state to the idle, we just say taxi guest is not like that. The thing is left, we have to have an animation this case, just a waving gesture. So that it's just waving like that. Great. So when we now go to here, we have this guy here. He is already set to, so he is already an AI. And when we go to here, he is a taxi guest. We save this and we hit play. We go to the guy over here and you can see he's waving and ask for to get him in. Great. So now we have to separate the driver door from the side door. So let's go back to OII car where we have our um, enter graph with the try enter car, leave car, open doors and cancel enter. So that's from the last tutorials. So let's split this. So we add a new custom event like that. And this will be open side door. So let's rename this function here to open driver door. And if you want, we can already integrate this into our character here. 
So we go from the active core and say open side door. Like this. So now we have the enter core where you ask if it's the driver door, then you set the driver or you set the co-driver, depends on the driver door. And then you play the different functions. So open driver door or, or open side door. And now we have fill, have to fill this function. So first of all, we can delete this here and we can take the whole part down here, cut it out and copy it down here. Except this one like this. So the first thing, of course, we want to set our driver. So we get our driver and then we want to set driver the boolean from the character and of course in this case when open driver doors to true and we can copy paste this downside here and of course on the side door we want to set it to false then we continue on both cases with the sound of the doors then the we open the right door or the left door and then we want to pause this that's in both cases makes sense. So we can copy and paste this as well down to here. And like this, but in this case, we have to can delete both parts here because we want not a driver, we want a co-driver on the side door. So let's get this one and put this to here. So after he is finished the animation, he will ask if the, in this case, the code driver is in an AI. If it's not an AI, so it's a player, then he want to process the car. Yeah, I know it didn't make really sense, but you will see what I mean. And then he, set in both cases the collision and after that he want of course attached to the car but here's a different part we want not attaching to the driver's seat so let's go to back to our uh, skeleton mesh and we have the driver's seat here and i already prepared the side seat in this case great so that's just um, when you go here, right click, add socket. So we take the socket name, copy, go back to our icar and just paste. So when we open the driver, uh, the side door, he will attach the code driver to the car like this. So. And then we go here and can delete this as well. Copy this down here because we already need it, of course, down here as well. But in this case, from the code driver, like this. Okay. And then we take this one here down to here. Play from start. And this goes down to here because it's for the left door, like this one here. Great. Okay. So this is the open site door. So what we have done here is to separate the functions. We have the open driver door where you set the driver and his Boolean, then you play the sound, then we have the open door animation, then he is checks if the um, guy of the character is an AI, then he has to pause the uh, car, and after that, he attach the driver, set the variables, then play the closed door animation, and and last thing is, if it's not a player, he will start the AI, but yeah. And on the side door with different cases, so it's all everything with the code driver. 
because this is a little bit more different. Compile and save this. Oh, yeah, sorry. I have to copy the get player controller down here. I forgot that. Great. So, on what we can do now. So now when we hit play, we go inside the car, drive to our friend here, hit the collision box, he enters the car and goes in and we can take it with us. So one problem is left. So when we go to our side door and get in, we are able to control the car, but it didn't make much sense. So let's fix this as well. So we go back to our iCar, we have our throttle input and the steering input. And what we have to do here is we already ask if the uh, character is an AI. So the second question would be, we take our driver, get driver, and we just ask is valid with a question mark. Of course, on false, we ask is the driver valid? And if it's valid, it takes the throttle input. If not, it do nothing. And the same thing we could do down here. So put this out here. And we go from here and say driver, get driver is valid with a question mark. And if it's valid, it takes the part and if it's not, it do nothing. So let's test it when we go to the, this side here goes in and I can do nothing. So, but now there's another problem we can't get out because the leaf function has a problem. So let's go back to our AI car. So we have the leaf car function and of course he is just only the driver. So we have to separate this as well, but that's, that's a little bit different. So first of all, we have to split this here to set the actor location. So we have the driver enter box. So we get the side enter box as well the get world location this will be the other case down here in both cases we have to set the actor location and in both cases we have to duplicate everything here but this all will be for the driver's side and this will all be for the co-driver. So we get our co-driver like that. And of course we set the co-driver down here. So we have to make a condition as well. So again, we go from our driver and say is valid with a question mark. So when we press leave car, it asks the um, driver if it's valid. So if it, if it is, then it poses the driver. If not, we can copy and paste this as well. So we go get player controller is the target. The porn is in this case the co-driver. And if it's not valid, it will uh, process the code driver. Yeah, it looks a little bit complicated, but it's not so complicated as it looks. So he poses the uh, driver or the code driver, then he sets the actor location to the driver enter box or the side enter box, depends on which side the player is sitting. And then the actor is enable the collision again from the driver, as you can see here, or the co-driver in this case. Then we have to detach the 
active from the core on both cases. So we do this as well for the driver side and then the co-driver side. And again, the uh, variable in core, copy paste. And then we go again from the co-driver to the variable. So as you can see, we have all settings for the driver side and all settings for the co-driver side. So compile and save this. And now when we now hit play, we go to the side here, goes in, can't control anything, but we can get out. Oops, let's fix that. Yeah, better. So, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know. And yeah, goodbye.